Oh, look, I've got a burnt out ear and I'm a bit shiny and it's very hot. You can probably, uh, yeah, there you go, whatever. Anyway, hello, I'm back on the Saturday wrap. We're in September, although we were in September last week as well. September the 9th, the Saturday. Yeah, doing it on the Friday, hence the end of day sun and extreme warmth, to be perfectly honest. If you haven't seen this before, it is some random person from South Wales blabbering on about the week that they had. I think that's correct. Anyway, comments are welcome, um, whatever network you are on. Try to keep them a little bit constructive. Or, if you can't keep them constructive, just make them sarky. I like that. So, as I've said, I look back on the week that ends Saturday the 9th of September 2023. Indian summer. I'm not sure if we can say that. Apparently it's Native Americans. But, you know, it's hot. So, let us start with the word or phrase of the week. So I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Um, through the door, a leaflet, 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour is the phrase. And on uh, the 17th, um, all rural, no, not rural, all suburb, no, it's not even that. Anywhere with street lamps, apparently. Although the motorway, uh, the M4 has street lamps, so I'm not sure about that. Um yeah residential is the word of course i'm looking for but 20 miles an hour and having seen the maps it's something like 20 30 20 30 20 30. i'm not going to go on about it because i've been on about it a million times slight over exaggeration but what can you do another uh, thing from our parish councillors down the bay thank you very much not at all and um all the signs, all the leaflets, and nice paper as well. They must have cost a pretty penny. Pennies that we can't spend on the health service. Longer queues, longer waiting lists in Wales. But there you go. Anyway, um, the app of the week. Well, at least on iOS, um, which came through this morning, you can now send high-res photos via WhatsApp. I know it's coming to macOS through the store and it should come in the Windows store. Um, it should be everywhere. So if you want nice high res thingies, uh, you can do that. Occasionally you might want to. Most of the time you just want them to upload. Uh, swings and roundabouts. Thing of the week. Thing of the week is the Indian summer. The heat. Um, okay, so we go into September and things start to get slightly cooler and you hope for an Indian summer and then you get it and it's like boiling, boiling, boiling. Um, yeah, however, tomorrow, Saturday, is apparently the last full day. Sunday is a little bit cooler and Monday, chance of rain. Although in the north on Sunday, that's North Wales, thunderstorms, showers, flash floods, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, however, September is my favourite month, but what can you do? Anyway, Song of the Week. And I don't want to keep banging on about this, but I didn't actually hear it on Boostergram Ball. Um, well, I sort of didn't. Uh, apparently, comic strip blogger, hello sir, um, told the Jeff Smith, who does jingles for the curry, um, to put his music on Wave Lake. And I think the album's called Gravity. It's from 2009. And there's an acoustic version of Not on the Radio. I boosted it from Wavelength. There's Sats already there. Great music. There's some wonderful stuff on Wavelength. What can kind of say it? Wave Lake. W A V L A K E dot com. Just go there. You can just listen for free. You don't have to boost them. Although if you have a couple of sats, you know. The Jeff Smith, Gravity. Uh, you can pick him up from the list of artists on there. And of course, uh, Ainsley Costello is there as well. Who's a bit of a, a thing for 2023. 
So, um, let's look back on the week that was. Last Friday after this, the foundation on Apple TV plus the Isaac Asimov based on, not quite the same, uh, I really wish I could binge it, but I'm getting it one at a time. I didn't want it to end. It was really, really good. Although you can no longer get a week's free trial of Apple, Apple TV Plus in the UK. Um, get a credit card. Certain ones give you a couple of months free. Well worth it. Only be in time for Christmas as well. <sighs> Sunday, I'm um, sat Sunday? Saturday morning. Yeah. Um... So I was going into Philly and I thought, oh, just put my new smock on because my new smock has arrived and I realised I haven't transferred all the junk and it is half a ton of junk out of the old smock. That took a while. And the new smock is, well, it's bigger and the sleeves are much longer, um, but I like it. Not really worn in yet. I haven't been wearing it much this week due to the fact that it's been 15 million degrees Celsius. And I'm a bit sweaty. But what can you do? Um, oh yes, Philly. Yeah, the little cheese was on. Normally you'd have the big cheese and I'd avoid it like the wind. Um, but they're doing work on the castle so they couldn't have all the castle done and so there was just a little cheese, which was not too bad. Uh, I ended up in Brew Monster, upstairs on the mezzanine. I was the only one there for quite some time. Really good beers there. Really nice beers. Should have more in the fridge, though, and from different brewers. And Tiny Rebel. Go back to the way that you were, please. Uh, however, the Brew Monster stuff, brew fantastic. Ah, right, Sunday. Sunday mowed the lawn. And it already needs mowing again. Despite the fact we... Well, we, we did have some rain. I think that was yesterday, Thursday... Although it didn't seem like we did, there were lots of sandy splotches on my car and practically everyone else's car. And apparently they came from the Sahara. These things happen occasionally. You get the winds from the south, hence the heat, and then you get a bit of rain and precipitates out and your car is covered in desert. Uh, it probably goes all over your roof as well and it clogs up your drains but there you go um yeah um monday the heat went into the office it wasn't too bad but as the week's gone on it's got hotter and hotter and hotter and i can't tell you about the lack of air conditioning but there is a lack of air conditioning amongst other things um, tuesday uh non-dairy creamer it's not that much cheaper getting it from Amazon and if you get from Tesco's you get the Nestle stuff uh, that comes in tubs which is much better still can't get any own brand stuff at all and it's far more expensive I'm not sure what's actually happened but nah Wednesday morning up early listening to podcasting 2.0 I had forgotten I'd sent them a boostergram from a Gitmo, a Gitmo Nation Taffy. I didn't think they know what Taffy was, so I put a little Welsh flag after it. Um, yeah, they didn't know what that was for a while after, and they did recognise it, and I did get a shout out, and, you know, podcasting 2.0. Uh, Dave Jones and Adam Curry, who are worth seeing. Um, in the sort of sense that you can only see the album art. It's a podcast. It has an RSS feed. There you go. Um, Thursday, as I mentioned, sandy rain, hot day, uh, etc. Also, compost. Yeah, I've got some compost in. I'm going to plant the last of my spring onion seeds. I'm hoping they'll be okay and I should get them around Christmas time. And, of course, I've got my spring uh, summer onions coming They'll probably be here at the end of the month, so I need to stock up on fresh compost. And then hunker down for the winter. Friday morning. Apple updates all around. Yeah, uh, security patches. Apply them now. Definitely apply them now. There you go. So, that was my week. Uh, that was my sweaty week. Tomorrow, I think... Um, 
I think in Newport. I know the Rugby World Cup is on, but um, Tony Rebel does have fantastic air conditioning. And with a bit of luck, I might be able to sit in the corner. If not, it'll be downstairs, underground. Still fast Wi-Fi down there. And I have to get a glass with a beer on it. A tiny beer. So, that was my week. Um, oh, he says, collapsing. Bye-bye.